Oi pessoas, tudo bem? Então hoje eu vou falar uh, sobre hominums ou uh, falso cognatos. I'm not sure the exact names of these words. Uh, it's a little bit confusing because one of them is like words that are spelt the same but have different meanings. I want to concentrate on words that are sound the same but spelt differently which I think is false or cognotos, cognotos, false cognates, I think. Okay, so I've learned something in the past week and it all started off in my last video where I came across the word senora and senora. Senora, 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 carrot or senor. I don't know how to pronounce it differently. It sounds the same to me. It's one of these words that when I heard it in, spoken in the, in the language, like in conversation, I could never identify the difference sounds between these two words. And I know for like Brazilian Portuguese speakers, it may, may sound silly because it's, they are different words and they have different sounds. But for me, when I heard them in conversation, I was like, it sounds like the same word. And I actually got confused a few times when someone was saying senhora, they were actually saying senhora and not senhora. Um, but that's something I've learned, which is good. and. Today this video will be about those type of words. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Fale Con Jake, the subscribe button is down there. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Fale Con Jake. So earlier in the week on my Instagram, I asked you guys to send me some words that sound similar in Portuguese and some words that sound similar in English. Um, so I'm going to talk about these words today. So first of all, I have the word coco and coco. One being a coconut and the other being a poo. I'm literally going to type into Google Translate poo. Coco. Coco. And then I type coconut. Coco. That's a word that you don't really want to get mixed up really, is it? Coco and coco. The next one, trafego. Trafego and trafico. I don't know the difference between these two. Maybe someone could tell me, but trafego and trafico. I don't know, one's like drug trafficking or something. Para and para. Para and para. So para is stop and para is the Brazilian state. We'll see with the little accent on on the end is where the emphasis of the word is. Something that I probably would have got confused with as well. But this is why it's good to sort of analyze these words to make sure that I definitely don't make these mistakes. Traz, traz and atras. Traz. Traz. Atras and atras. He's you're gonna, this, it literally just sounds the same. Like, I would have been like, atras, like, okay, the bring, or something like that. Like, that's confusing that one. I, I don't even know how to say this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm not even gonna try. Ah, avocado. Abacate. Yes, yeah. This, see, this is, this is. This is in the same category as senhora and senhora. And you guys are probably going to be like, it sounds nothing like pineapple. But to me, it sounds just like pineapple. If someone said that to me, I would have straight, I would have said pineapple. Abacaxi. 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 Yeah. That... That's something that sounds very similar to me and it's two different fruits. So the next one we have is olio and olio. 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 And olio. They sound very similar. Easy for me to make that mistake. So next one we have cinto. Cinto and cinto. I don't know if these just sound exactly the same and spelt differently. Cinto. 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 No. Those two just sound exactly the same. And cinto and cinto. I cannot identify the difference between those two words. Maybe I'm wrong, but to me, those words sound exactly the same. Okay, so this one, bunginha, bungia, bunginha and bunginha. Yeah, this this is one that I would easily get mistaken. So bundinha is a little butt, little ass. In in Google Translate, it comes up with booty. Bunginha. Bunginha. Bom dia. Bom dia. Yeah, obviously, it's, you can you can see the differences, but again, 
if I've never heard those words and I'm just like in my situation where I'm just learning Portuguese, I could easily mistake those words. Desciente and docente. I like these because they're very close, but they're quite distinguishable as well. But it's something that like learning a language, it, it'd be so easy to confuse. Desciente and docente. Massa and massa. So I know about these two. We have apple and pasta, or like a smasa, the slang, or like a dough. Maca. 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 No, that's not right. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Massa. 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 The apple one is interesting. Massa. 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 Yeah, that's quite difficult, that one. Um, I w for me, I've always said massa. Massa for apple. So it looks like I need to uh, practice that pronunciation. Mice and mass. This is something that I, I'm i quite comfortable with identifying the difference between those two. It's like mice is more masses, but, and for me personally, I don't think I have a problem with that. Mice and mass, but a good one because in the early stages of learning, it's something that you could get easily confused. Pies and pies, country and parents. Pies. 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 Pies and pies. Yeah, this is a good one for me to learn. Pies. Pies. The, the, I've always got confused with this word when I've seen it written in a sentence. I've always been like, why? Like, especially in like terms of travel, and I see like someone might be talking about travel, and they say like pies. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. when did you start talking about your parents? Like, I thought we were talking about travel um, because they look the same, and obviously it's only identified by an accent. Um, so yeah, they're very similar words, completely different meanings. Next one, vovo and vovo. I can't get this one. This one confuses me, and I don't even think Google Translate likes this word. Vovo. 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 And vovo. That's hard. That's difficult. Grandmother. Grandfather. I find that easier. <laughs> Can we not just do that? Grandmother. Grandfather. Vovo and vovo. Difficult. Very difficult. Next one. Comprimento and comprimento. 100% I would have never identified the difference between these two. Comprimento. 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 They sound exactly the same. Comprimento. Yeah. Not accepting. They sound the same. Co okay. Comprimento. Comprimento. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Comprimento and comprimento. And let me know in the Volvo thing as well. Because Volvo and Volvo. Is that right? Is there only one way to find out? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if that's right. Am I am I on the right track to becoming fluent in Portuguese? Okay, so that's the Portuguese ones. Now we're gonna go on to English. So the first one we have beach and bitch. One is a beach, praia, and one is a bitch. I don't know how to say this in Portuguese. A bitch is a female dog. Um, it's also a offensive word for anyone really. So yeah, that's two words that I've heard Brazilians get wrong. I want to go to the beach and it's like, no, you don't want to go to the beach. <laughs> you want to go to the beach. Beach, so it's each and itch. Each and itch. That's how to identify those two words. Each, itch. It's like you have a, a itch and you have two each. So beach, Bitch. Okay, this one's a good one. It's quite hard to distinguish, especially if you're not a native speaker of English. Bear, beer, beard sounds exactly the same. Okay, so we have beard, this, the beard, and then you have beer, something that I love. Cheers. A bear, like an animal, a bear. Um, and also we have bear, which can mean like to the bear, bear necessities, like. Jungle Book. Bear necessities, the simple bear necessities. Bear necessities, like the essentials, just the essentials. Bear, bear, but bear and bear is sounds exactly the same, spelt differently. B 
beer and beard, which I can understand for you guys getting that mistaken because it's like they, they have both have the same sounds until you reach the end and then you got to change. You got to put a D on a beer. Beard. Beard. That guy's got a long beard. See, it sounds like that guy's got a long beard. Fault, taut, tough and thorough. So I already spoke about these words in one of my videos about the TH words, which I know that um, non-native speakers do get confused with the TH sound. And we're supposed to say it with the tongue for the teeth, like thought and thorough. And then we have thought and taught. Taught is a completely different use of the mouth. So thought and taught. So you don't use your tongue in the talk, you don't do the tongue for the teeth thing in talk. Uh, it's just talk and thought, but they sound exactly the same, like very similar. And then we have tough and thorough. Tough and thorough, I don't know, the, these are quite hard to distinguish, I guess. Um, thorough is that TH sound again, and tough because it has the GH. And okay, so I see what the problem is here. <laughs> We say, we say tough, tough, no, tough, tough, I don't know, maybe I'm saying this wrong, tough, because of the GH at the end, but then when it comes to thorough, it ends in like a R. Language is a very complex subject, <laughs> I suddenly realised, hour and hour, see I'm going to take this to Google Translate, hour, hour, hour. hour. Our. Our. God. Our. They sound exactly the same. Yeah, they sound exactly the same. Sorry guys, uh, English is a lot more complicated in this sense actually. Okay, so this one I can help you with. Still and still. This one's a bit like the um, itch and each one because we have like that E-A and I-L. Steel and still. Let's take it to Google Translate. Steel. Steel. Still. And still. So steel and still, air and year, very hard um, to differentiate between the two, but remember you have the year, air, like air and year. Make sure you get that Y, make sure you use that Y, year and air. Make it shorter, make year longer. We are and we're, so we are, like you, we shorten it to we're. We're going to the park today and the long way of saying it is we are. Also gets confused with were. So we were at the park today and we we are going to the park today. You gotta make sure you basically say we are, we are, we are. And that's why we shorten it because we can roll it all into one and mostly in text we'd be like we are. You can see it here, we are and were. Sheep, chip and ship. I'll add a ship on there because I thought, you know, I may as well. So yeah, I think with um, non-native speakers, when they see the word chip, they say like ship, um, they pronounce that CH like a SH, um, when it's a CH, chip, and same with cheap and sheep, same thing, SH and CH, SH, CH, so cheap and sheep, cheap and sheep. So we have you are and your which is similar to the we are and we're. It's easier just to say you are and you're. You are. You are an idiot. You should always say you are. It's easier. Feel and few. Feel. Eel. Few. I can understand. Easy to get um, confused with. Loose and loose. Lose and loose. See, this one is a good one to end on because it's quite complicated. So you have to shorten it as the double O is loose, lose. Did we lose today? Uh, did the football team lose today? Loose, lose, lose, lose. And then loose for something tight and loose. Loose, like you use that extra O, use, use that extra O because that's how to identify the differences. Make sure you remember it's two O's and it's Make it longer, loose, and then loose.
That's my advice on that one. I hope I was able to help you a little bit today with the English words. And I think that I've learned a lot about the pronunciation of some Portuguese words. I have been made aware of words that I should try to avoid getting mistaken. For example, coco and coco. So hopefully in the future I won't have this problem. Perhaps what I could do next or in the near future is a video about English, British, British English and American English words, like words that are completely different. Um, for some examples we have our sidewalk, pavement, trash can, bin, and they entirely mean the same thing, but we have different words for them. And we also have some words that we, um, we pronounce differently. For example, we'll say like, uh, we're gonna take this route and Americans will say, we'll take this route. And when someone said route to me for the first time, I was like, another language, don't know what they're talking about. I was like, what's a route? What route? What, what's, who, where, what? Root, that's what we say in English. Um, so maybe I can do a video on that as well, because for you guys learning English, um, this could be a defining moment for you, whether you choose to learn British English or American English. And if you're watching my video, I advise you to learn British English because you're gonna learn with me. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video. Um, join me on Instagram, it's Jake. And in the comments section, let me know if there's any words that I pronounce incorrectly. And let me know what you think about the idea of making a British English video versus American English. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.